Hey guys, it's me. No, this is not going to be a makeup video, but I read so many posts about, you know, parents, moms being scared to um, cut their kids' hair or asking who's still cutting hair, who could come cut their hair. Um, and instead of grabbing those buzzers, I'm going to show you or explain to you a really, really quick, maybe not really quick, but it's the easiest way to cut a little boy's hair um, and it shouldn't take you that long. So guys, here are some things that you will need for this video. Of course, we're going to have shears. If you don't know how to cut properly, I hope you have shears. I don't know how well it's going to go with kitchen scissors, but this is the moving finger for cutting. We're not chomping. Okay, so you're going to need a comb. You can have a wider comb like this, um, or I don't know, the really small combs. They'll help you too. They'll help you keep the hair together. Um, next, any type of water bottle, because as soon as the hair dries, it's harder to keep in place and you know keep all the hair together and straight. It's just easier to do that. And then some clips. Clips will definitely help you along with the square form. Um, haircut is basically the hair distributed straight up and straight out. So straight up, straight out. And at the bottom, the nape or the curve of the head, you're basically definitely just gonna cut with the curve. So if we're going straight out here, we're gonna cut, of course, cause we want that shorter. So let's get him moved around. This is kind of weird. Okay. Okay, so grab your shears and maybe I can follow along or guide you through the way. Most importantly, I'm gonna to try to explain, explain to you this step-by-step -step procedure. And I'm gonna to, going to try to hurry actually because Men's cuts typically take a little longer than women's. Okay, so here's Larry. We're gonna call him Larry. Larry. Here's Larry. We're gonna call him Larry today. <laughs> Mike is laughing. Okay, let's remember that any parting may be used, but generally horizontal partings are used at the top which would be horizontal and sides, of course, would be vertically. And I definitely want to let you in a little secret before we actually judge if you'd like. Remember horizontal, vertically, if you have a problem remembering that. Um, horizontal, oars lay down, vertically, virgins stand up. So, of course, vertically on the side, the virgins stand up. You're cutting out. Horizontal, oars lay down, so you'll be cutting your fingers will be horizontal to the floor. Okay, now that that's out of the way, that's <laughs> kind of weird, but um, it's just something that helped me um, during my test. If I kind of had a, hey, <laughs> oh, wait till Mike gets out of the room. Tito's barking at you. Yeah, I'm not gonna actually cut. I just want it would. I feel like it'd take me even longer trying to explain this and doing it at the same time. Okay, kids sometimes don't want to sit still, but you've got to have that good grip on the hair, your fingers straight, um, and you always hopefully can get that straight line. But first, um, make sure you keep the head upright. Um, we're going to take a small, small parting in the very center. Pull it down to the desired length that you want it. I'm not saying that your kid's gonna have bangs or anything, but you can do that this way, it'd be easy, or you can hold it up. It just, I guess, depends on the way you style your kid's hair. I style Mike as up and back, so I do it this way. This may be a little easier. So cut this to the length, and this will actually be your guide for traveling guide, actually, or mobile guide. Mobile guide means that um, you're gonna take a Okay, so now that we've established the length of the guide, um, go ahead and drop that. Make a very, not very thin, but probably about an inch wide. Make a parting of a mohawk um, to the back of the head. 
and comb the sides down, bring that mohawk up, bring that guide that you just cut, guide from right here, bring it up, and it's gonna be shorter than that mohawk. And then we're gonna turn to the side. We're gonna pull that mohawk, just a part of it, because you only wanna cut to your second knuckle. If you cut past your second knuckle, that is where that fat part is, and you will cut yourself. So, the smaller the sections, um, easier it is. We don't want to cut this way because we don't want their bangs to be this short. So it's traveling further here. So that means it's going to be a longer piece. Okay. So that guide should be right up here. Cut parallel to the floor. So of course I'm, I would be doing it this way so I could actually see in the mirror, but, uh, cut parallel to the floor. Of course, um, take, once you got that, I'm sorry. Once you've gotten that um, cut, it should all be the same length. And then take a little bit from that, put the rest away. For the next piece of that, you still have a piece of that guide and it's gonna be shorter than the rest. So you cut it all to that guide, of course. Um, so that's what you call a mobile guide because it's actually traveling with you, some of it. So once you cut this, lay the rest down and hold a little piece and Okay, so now that you've gotten that mohawk um, cut from this guide all the way to the very back, straight up, fingers parallel to the floor, we now can split that. We now can split that in half completely, and we're going to do a butt cut. Okay, so now that you've got some of that guide on this side and some of that guide on that side, which is some of the mohawk over there, some over there, it's gonna be your guide for this whole side. Once you're finished with just the top, you're gonna to do this whole side. So we're gonna start at the front and you're going to take a piece this way, of course, and this is gonna be, of course, already cut, so it's gonna be, use your guide, and you're gonna cut across. Then behind it, get the next piece. Remember, this is out in the front, you, once you're done with that and you cut it, comb it down, then take another slice. Make sure to grab some of your guide from your last cut. Okay, pull that up. You're going to be able to see through it. If you can't see your guide through the hair, that means you've got too thick of a section. Go ahead, comb it back down and get a thinner section. You should be able to see through your guide and the other hairs. You know, you can see where to cut. Do this all the way back. To the crown or the top of the head I'm sorry and then do the same thing start in the front and go all the way back this way so you're good having sections like this then you're having sections like this when you're completely finished with that then you can brush the hair back completely grab the hair for horizontally which would be like this um, okay keep the die on me okay so, like I was saying, you um, once you're finished with both sides, go ahead and grab a piece across the whole top, and when you comb it up, it should be around the same length. You see, we're we're going this way. Sorry, we're going this way, doing partings all the way back, just to check to make sure both of our sides, because we did them in two separate um, at two separate times. We want to make sure it is straight across. If it's not, go ahead and even it up to your shorter side. Get that down. We're going to go to that next. Of course, pull, comb it up. It's a, this guy's hair's got some gel in it. So, anyways, you're going to do that all the way back, and you should be able to pull it all up, and it should be the same length. Okay, now that you feel like you've gotten the, the top part out of the way, then we can move to the sides. Um, you can go ahead and clip this up and out of your way if you need to, um, which would be very helpful. Let me put this back up to the camera. And then you're going to brush the sides straight down. We're going to cut them vertically. Remember, virgins stand up, not lay down. So they're going to be standing, and so is your comb. And so is the direction of your cutting. So that's going to be this part right here. And we're going to do it straight off. Remember that um, square form or whatever. So we're kind of, so square, the square form, square cuts for men is a little more masculine um, than the rounded 
sides or whatever. It's a little more feminine, of course, for women. So again, we did this straight up. Now we're going to do this straight out. And that's all the way across. So, of course, you can have some of your guide pulled down from up here, just a little piece. You only need just the tiniest little piece. And we're going to cut straight. If you have problems thinking, knowing that you're, you know, straight up from the head, place your comb and pull your, the hair straight out. Straight out. This is weird doing this backwards. Okay. So, we're going to do that all the way around. All the way around. Now, this is a whole different area. Okay. So, that's where the occipital bone is and where the head starts to curve. In the nape area, nape area, which would be down here, um, you're going to do vertical parting. So if you get them to go ahead and look down, Larry, um, vertical partings, of course, are this way, and you're going to pull them out. But remember, um, it's kind of easier to do your comb upside down. Remember to go with the shape of the head on the nape. You're going 90 degrees from the scalp, and remember where the scalp is going right here. Another way to um, look at cutting the nape area is you're doing a 90 degree projection um, 90 degree projection and we're cutting like uniform layers so of course uniform we all know what that means so we want them to all be the same and of course follow your guide keep a piece of your guide through each um, um, so I keep saying slice, but parting that you make. Um, so do that all the way around. And then, okay, so we're not judging Larry's cut. I found him in a box. Um, but now for the perimeter of the hair, if you're unsure what the perimeter is, the perimeter is around the hairline all the way around. So before we do the perimeter, you can do it before or after, we're going to want to do a cross check. And cross checking is Go the opposite direction that you parted the hair and you can lit or really anyway and it all should end up being even no matter what type of sec section you pull up so since we went you know of course we went this way all the way up now i can just bring the hair up and see see how even that is you can do that and do that this way so anyways once you get to the perimeter after you cross check okay so the perimeter of the hair you kind of want to personalize it of course, you don't want to go too high above the ears. Um, cut it to your des desired length. And then um, I can show you real quick. Let me see if I have some. Okay. I can show you real quick how to point cut. Um, but please be careful when you do that. When you point cut, um, it's just going to soften up the edges so it's not just so straight, you know, straight across. So if you point cut, basically... Please don't do it if you don't want to or don't have to. But it's just to soften it up if the kid has thicker hair. Sometimes it works with thinner. So, so I hope this was somewhat helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please just um, message or comment down below. And I'll try to get to your questions as soon as possible. Um, no question is a dumb question. I learned that a long time ago. Um, so yeah, this is the first video that I'll be putting on my YouTube channel. Um, yes, I'll have the makeup videos coming soon as well, but this will be the first one. Don't think you have to shoot straight to the buzzers and buzz your kid's hair off. Okay, so make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and turn your notifications on if you want to be notified anytime that I upload a video. Love y'all.